Kau rasa lima wasit wa kau على إتاحة الفرص لتقديم ورش عمل لها عائد علمي كبير على الباحثين وطلاب الدراسات وأيضا أوجه شكر الجزيل للحضور الكرام My name is Amina, lecturer in University of Baghdad, College of Pharmacy Graduated at 2002 and I get the master degree in medical biochemistry at 2011 And I joined the University of Newcastle and Hunter Medical Research in Australia at 2015 to get a PhD degree And now I explain some what I learned in cell culture techniques would give example on some system have been established in my PhD project. Cell culture is laboratory technique referred to removal cells of living organism and their subsequent growth and maintenance and their control condition outside their natural environment, which become more robust in the middle 20th century. And its application are the personalized medicine, in which the primary cell culture organoid, which modeling the complexity of disease setting, help in identification the treatment option for individual patient. Also, we can use this organoid as model to screen the efficacy and toxicity of drugs. Moreover, we can utilize them in replacing a damaged organ and in a steady physiological process of embryonic development and tissue homostasis. Also, we can use these organoids in a steady mechanistic pathway underlying the pathogenicity of various diseases. And the types of cell culture is a primarily cell culture referred to, to culture cells directly after isolation from tissue sample, which characterized by highly biological relevance and retain the genetic makeup which can getting either by purification from a blood like white blood cells that can be grown free-floating in medium as suspension culture or by digestion in extracellular matrix of solid tissue using enzymes such as collagenase or trypsin, such as epithelial and citroma cells to form adherent culture. That can be in two-dimensional monolayer culture or in three-dimensional organoid culture that represent a natural environment experience by cells in the living organism. And the secondary cell culture is derived from a primary cell culture and has a highest growth capacity and passaging result in degree of genotyping and phenotypic uniformity in the population are subject to genetic draft. And as we can see in this figure, they can extend the lifespan of culture by transfect them with telomerase enzyme, which replaces the telomer subunit and escape senescence. So the transfected cell combined the in vivo nature of primary cells with the growth potential of continuous cell lines. And this scheme show now how can get the primary cell culture from biopsy samples. And after subculture them, you can get the secondary cell culture. And we can immortalize them by transfect them with telomerase enzyme. And all these cell culture can be established in the cell culture lab or purchase these cells from American type culture collection, which is a global biological resource center and the leading supplier of authenticated cell line. And as we can see here, the cell culture lab must provide a clean working environment and the laboratory surfaces like bench top should be waterproof and resistance to chemical and the window must be sealed and the work surface of area used for storage material and liquid nitrogen should be resistant to cracking and the equipment must be available in cell culture lab a microbiological safety cabinet which is in a closed ventilated laboratory workspace for safely working with material potentially contaminated with pathogen and the microscope the inverted one, which provide to monitor a cell culture regarding their growth and health, and the standard microscope for counting the cells using homocytometer, and the centrifuge used to sediment cells into pellet and to transfer them into different media and buffer. And the sediment rate is between 800 and 1,500 revolution per minute, as higher gravitational force cause agglutination of cell pellet. And the care must be taken about not overfill the tube and balance them when put it in centrifuge. 
and situate the centrifuge where they can easily access for cleaning and maintaining away from microscope, which can be affected by vibration. And the incubator in which the in vitro cell culture maintain and should be mimic the in vivo cell environment by setting their temperature with 37 degrees centigrade, humidity with 95% and CO2 with 5% for maintaining a correct cellular pH and osmolality. And the water bath are used for filling out frozen cells, heating and activating serum and warming of media and reagent for 15 minutes prior to culturing cells they should be regularly cleaned and replenished with the fresh water and the suitable antimicrobial agent. The fridge and the freezer in which most liquid of cell culture reagent are stored. And the liquid nitrogen storage is used to store biologic and diagnostic sample in a cryobial and packaging in boxes placed in rock inside liquid nitrogen, which is around minus 196 to minus 210 degree centigrade and the consumable including the cell culture flux, centrifuge tube and pipette which are available in single use sterile bags that eliminate the need for validation of their sterilization. And the reagent of cell culture, the cell culture media which has a phenol red as pH indicator from 6.5 to 8.5 and that help us in predicting a culture condition of media color change. So if the media color is yellow, we must check for contamination first, then we must change the media with a fresh one at the previous uh, one is filled with metabolic waste of lactate. And if the media color is orange, we must change the cell culture media within 24 hours. And if the media color is red, that means pH media 7.4. And that is fine to continue on culturing cells within this media. While if the media is pink, that means there is some problem with CO2 supply of incubator. And the supplement must be added to cell culture media is fetal bovine serum, which is essential for cell culture as it has the necessary growth factor and hormones which would augment in cell cycle progression and induce a cellular division and the growth. But you must inactivate it by heating with six, uh, 56 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes to destruction an infectious agent like a prion and other component like complement and immunoglobulin present in FBS. The L-glutamine is an essential amino acid required in cell culture media to support the growth of cell with high energy demand anti-emphasizing large amount of a protein and the nucleic acid. It is unstable in liquid formulation, so it is added to media at the time of use. And the non-essential amino acid is needed for optimizing a cell growth. And antibiotic like penicillin streptomycin is used to reduce the risk of bacterial infection. A daily because phosphate buffer saline is a balanced salt solution used for a variety of cell culture applications, such as washing cell before dissociation, transporting cell or tissue sample, diluting cell for counting, and the preparing reagent. It is formulation must be without calcium and magnesium for rinsing later from culture before cell dissociation with the trypsin. And the trypsin is a protolytic enzyme broken down a protein that enables cells to adhere to the cell culture flux and to each other. Once cells have detached from their container, it is necessary to deactivate the trypsin to prevent the damaged cell surface protein and that by adding a serum which contains divalent cation like calcium and magnesium. And dimethyl sulfoxide is a polar aprotic organic solvent that is commonly used as a cryoprotecting because of its membrane penetrating and water displacement property. It is added to cell culture media to reduce ice formation and thereby prevent cell death during the freezing process. So to start the cell culture, we must first sterilize the hood and supplies by separating them with 70% epilon, then UV them for 20 minutes before initiate a cell culture procedure. And the first and the first one is throwing a frozen cell by clean set up the cell culture hood and the pre-war media before remove the cells from liquid nitrogen storage, wear full face shield over safety glasses as well as loose fitting thermal insulated or leather gloves and apron, then pull a vial and place it in a cup of ice. 
Turn the cryovial in 37 degrees centigrade for two minutes. Transfer cell content of vial to 15 ml centrifuge tube and add 10 ml of media start, starting with a drop by drop, then increasing the rate of adding media to avoid the osmotic shock. Then spend cell and discard the freezing media that contain DMSO, resuspend with complete pre war media and a plate in the flask. Put in an incubator and check for adherent cells for adherent cells and shiny and healthy cellular appearance for suspension cells and change their media next day. And the second procedure for cell culture is passaging and maintaining the cells. And the cells always enter the leg phase after seeding. And after that, the cell proportionally grow with the time and then cell stop growing when it start confluence and they start apoptosis and some of them. So when uh, you must subculture them before that time. And the subculture procedure for adherent cells is examine the cell culture for confluence, remove spent media from a flask using a sterile pip pipette, rinse the cell with DBBS, add the trypsin and incubate for five minutes, inactivate the trypsin by complete media and the transfer cell to conical tube, centrifuge cell at 800 revolution per minute for five minutes, resuspense infinite with warm complete media, and counting cell for optimal seeding density. While the subculturing procedure for suspension cells and include remove a small sample for counting, add the fresh media and sublate them into multiple flasks to maintain a cell density to half to one million cell per mil, spin cell and replace with a new media every three days and maintenance in an incubator. So the comparison between the adherent and suspension cells is the growth of adherent cells is limited by surface area and cell culture plate. For their passaging, we need the enzymatically dissociation step, while the growth of suspension cells is limited by concentration of cells in their media, and it is easier in their passaging. And the final procedure of cell culture is a freezing cells which is important to ensure, to ensure a validated passage of the utilizing cell and cell culture, and we must doing it before the cells enter the plateau phase. By labeling each cryovial with cell type, passaging number, and date using permanent marker called Mr. Frosty container with isopropanol, prepare freezing medium, which is consists of 50% media, 40% FBS, and 10% DMSO, then starting passaging the cells to form cell palette. Resuspend the cell palette with 50% of media and count the cell, then a liquid two to three million. They quickly add 500 ml of a pre chilled freezing medium. Quickly transfer a cryovial into right control freezing apparatus, which is Mr. Frosty, and store in minus 80 for 24 hours. Next day, transfer the cryovial into liquid nitrogen and record a vial storage location in a logbook. So for counting cell, we use homocytometer, which is a specially designed glass slide used to calculate the exact number of cells needed for experiment staging or freezing and cell culture application. Also, it is widely used for calculation of total number of RBC, YPC, and yes cells. And its type is glasses, the type and its cover slip, which must be cleaning with alcohol after uses or the disposable one. And for preparing the cell suspension for calculated viable and dead cells, gentle swirl the flask to ensure cells are evenly distributed. And before cells have a chance to settle, take out 100 microliter of cell suspension and place an Ebendorf tube and add a tripani blue to stain a dead cells. And you must know that each chamber of 
Homo saltometer consists of nine square and each square consists of 16 subsquare and the surface area of each square is one millimeter square and the depth of the chamber is 0.1. So the volume of the sample that fall the chamber is 0.1 microliter. So to calculate the concentration of viable cell in one mole suspension cell, you must multiply the average cell per square per dilution factor per 10,000. And for calculation of average cell per square, you must follow the rules of the lab that we work in. Some researcher calculate cells in the four corner square and other calculate cells in the four corner square and in the middle one. And also we include the cell set on the up and left line of the corner square and not those set on the bottom and the right line. And here, one example for counting citroma with epithelial cells and four to one ratio to modulate a number of cultural spheroid based on the surface area of the cultural plate. And using this ratio based on the fact that epithelial cell grow faster than citroma cell and this ratio appro appropriate to have the right mixture of the cells in a spheroid growing for 21 days. And thus, and this is spheroid, phenocopial morphological architecture and functional signaling of a human endometrial tissue, which is published in a Brotomic Journal 2019. And other example, we use a suspension monocyte and count six million of these cells, put it in 10 centimeter a plate to differentiate them to different type of macrophage using different chemical compound. So the clinical significance of using the cell culture is for developing system modeling the complexity of a human tissue and disease setting, as well as feature property comparable with those seen in patient population and the human database help us in a steady physical and pathological process plays inside our bodies. And utilizing the cell culture technique help in identification in molecular pathway underlying the pathogenicity of diseases, discovering a new biomarker and the drug that helping in early diagnosis, early treatment, a prevention of complication and reducing mortality. In addition, when utilizing the primary cell culture, hold the promise for personalized medicine, the right treatment at right dose, for the right person at right time for right outcome. Thank you for your listening and I'm happy to answer, to answer any questions. استاذ الحضور اللي تستطيعون ان تفتحون المايك دكتوره امنه متهيئه للاجابه عن اسئلتكم دكتور خالد او دكتوره كوثر مايك مفتوحه امامكم السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام عليكم شكرا دكتوره امنه على هذه خلينا نقول the full outline of the cell culture work. The fact is that the possibility of 